Hi guys, Larissa here with Newton Nix Designs and today I want to share with you this super cute Easter tag and we're also going to be making an Easter basket. I die cut two tag shapes from a die from My Favorite Things and then I've used a background die from Tailored Expressions. Love how cute this design is and then just used por a portion of it for the bottom of my tag and then we're also going to be using this die for the main part of our basket in a little bit. The stamp sets that we're going to be working with are the Easter Scramble. I love how cute these images are and then the Basket of Wishes stamp set and for this tag I embossed the cute little egg and then stamped the basket, added some sequins and then I just em he embossed the sentiment. And for this tag we're going to be starting with the already die cut tag. This is a Amy Tangerine from American Crafts tag and there are so many tags on the market with um, all the little die cutting done for you so if you don't have any dies in order to incorporate die cutting on your own these are a great thing to pick up uh, I think you get like 15 or 20 of them in a in a package for like a dollar 99 so uh, it's like a no-brainer and then I just die cut a vellum tag using a paper tray ink and then I just stamped to save time and die cut this little basket from Basket of Wishes and then we're going to take the little egg dies or little egg stamps from the Easter Scramble stamp set and we're going to stamp the little chicky head on some yellow cardstock and I'm just using a scrap a piece of cardstock that I had in my stash. I love how bright and fun the yellow is and I'm just going to stamp it out with enough of a little edge that I can stick underneath my egg. And then we're going to heat emboss our little egg shape and I thought it would be fun to use some American Crafts Zing glitter embossing powder. I love the Zing embossing colors and I have a really fun pink glitter embossing powder and I thought it would be fun to use that for this tag today. So we're just going to cut out our little chicky and the trick to this little image here is to leave a little border down at the bottom so that you can tuck it into the egg image and you won't have any white showing. And then once you get your egg cut out, you can cut off any extra, any excess that you have. So we're going to stamp our image onto some pretty patterned paper. And Bings, we're using a, a colored glitter zing. Hopefully you can see it's the pink glitter. It doesn't really matter what uh, image you have in the background. So we're just going to ink up our image and stamp this. And then we're going to stamp the top of the egg as well. So we're using Versamark and inking up our images. And then we're going to use this really fun embossing powder. And it kind of has a pink with a glitter in it. And we'll just shake off the excess. Oh, it's going to be so cute. I had kind of gotten away from 
embossing powder and then I started using it again here lately and I love all of the fun new colors that are available. So we're just going to take our heat gun and heat this up really quick and it will allow us to see how neat this looks. And it heats up really quick. And then we're just going to cut these out. Hopefully you can see how cute and fun that is. Cute little sparkle. Love it. So we're going to die cut these. Fussy cut them rather. Or scissors. And then we're going to tuck this inside of our sweet little basket. And I think this would make a fun little gift for almost just about anybody. Big, big or small. I think a lot of people would love to to get, to get this sweet little egg. So then we're just going to come to our basket and tuck that in and take our little egg and you can always color the little beak uh, a color if you want as well. And then I took the top of the egg and just tucked it in down at the bottom of my tag just for a fun little touch. Like the little chick was just hatching. And I love that you can use these little images for flowers or for the eggs. So many possibilities. And we're going to glue that to the back of our tag. And then we're going to stamp a sentiment down at the bottom. And in order to get these to go even further, you can take a piece of masking tape and mask your image if you want to, if you want to stamp them on separate lines instead of stamping them together on the same line. But because they're easy to line up, I'm just going to line it up one word and then the other word. Just taking care to make sure I don't have any ink where I don't want it. I'll center that. And stamp it down. And I'm using some Simon Says Stamp ink in khaki. I was lucky enough to win a set of the Simon Says Stamp ink pads and I am loving them. I love all of the fun colors. So there we have our image and then you're ready to just add a bow and our sweet little tag is done. It's so cute! So next we're going to start a basket and we're going to take any type of background die that you may have and we're going to die cut it out four times so you want four of the same image and you're going to, once you have it cut out, you're going to back it onto another piece of cardstock and then you're going to create a half of an inch along the top and the bottom so that you have four panels that look like this. And you're going to glue them together using the tabs so that you have one continuous strip. And we'll zoom out a little bit here so you can see what I'm talking about. So we're going to make one panel and 
the box itself is going to end up being five and a fourth by five and a fourth. So we're going to take our little lip here and we're going to add glue to this little lip and we're going to attach it to the side without anything on the chain of the baskets that we have here. And I went ahead and took my Distress Ink and just inked over the tops once I had these glued to the cardstock base just for some added dimension. I love the way it, it makes the detail of the die just pop. And then we'll attach this and we will have the main base for our box. And I was looking for a way to use my background dies for more than just background dies. And as I was looking at things on Pinterest, I thought, oh my goodness, it would make the sweetest little basket. Now you could leave this open if you wanted to, but you would have to die cut your image out of something more substantial um, than just cardstock. And with as intricate as these designs are, I didn't think it would hold up very well. It wouldn't be very sturdy. Um, so that's why I chose to back this particular one with cardstock. Now if you had a more substantial background die that didn't have as intricate of a design, you could probably get away with using it open um, and it would be kind of like those strawberry baskets. So then the bottom of our basket here, we're just going to add glue to all of these little tabs that we've left and we're going to add a square piece of cardstock that I cut to five and a fourth by five and a fourth. And it will complete the bottom of our basket. And then we'll flip this over and push down from the inside just for a little more pressure, making sure that we have it all connected. And if you wanted to, you could reinforce the box um, on the inside so that all of your little panel cuts didn't show. That way it would be a clean box instead of having all of the little... But I'm going to be putting grass inside of this with some fun little candies and uh, little things that I've made, so I'm not that worried about it. So here we have a sweet little box, and it matches the little die cut border that we have on our tag. And then for the handle, I've just taken a Martha Stewart punch. Hopefully you can see the edging. And then I've threaded some ribbon through that, and I'm just going to attach it on the inside of my basket with some staples. And then I've also taken a paper tray ink bow die and created these sweet little felt bows. And I've added a Studio Calico button along with some pearls. And I'll add one of those on either edge of my basket and then I'll attach my sweet little tag and there we have a sweet little basket and tag for Easter. You can go to Newton Nooks Designs for more pictures and more information or you can visit my blog at larissaheskettdesigns.blogspot.com for even more information about the projects that I've made today. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope you have a fabulous, fabulous week. Uh, next week 
on the 14th through the 16th we will be having the new release for Newton Nooks Design so I hope you'll tune in and come and see all of the new stamps that will be available at Newton Nooks Designs. Thanks so much for watching guys. Have a fabulous, fabulous day.